Hi, today I'm going to show you what would be a typical workflow on visit basis for merchandising activities. So first we're going to create a merchandising task, then we're going to assign uh, the task to a specific visit for a wrap, and then we will perform uh, the task as if we were the wrap at the point of sale and you will see the results. So this is the uh, task summary that I have received. This is a planogram audit task and this would be a typical task for merchandising. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fill in um, the task information on visit basis. So I just copy this here. And I'll continue filling this out. This will be for my confections division and tags I can put merchandising. There is no specific item, so no specific product that I'm talking about, but here I'm going to put my actions. So it is very easy with this copy to Excel feature just the, to copy the actions from Word in this case, paste here, then I go back to grid view and I already have my actions here. Take a picture of the current POS, so this is a photo. Um, answer type, compare current shelving with planogram, attach planogram image to task for comparison. So here uh, I'm going to add an attachment, and add, and here I'm going to attach my planogram. go back here to actions um, so this is a text answer and then here we're gonna check out check the brands with seasonal product display at the point of sale so here it was a multiple selection type of answer and I can also go here to word make my selection copy go back to visit basis change the format here I can allow multiple answers in this case, go back to grid view, OK, and then save my task. Here I can go to the general window and verify if everything is OK with my task. Now I will be able to assign this task to a specific visit for a specific wrap. So I go to visits. Let's see Carolina here. She has three visits assigned already. Let's see, say I want to add a fourth visit for today. Let's see, this one, add visit. Visit has been added. Now I'm going to add a task. And it's the planogram audit task to this visit. So I add task. Okay, so now I have requested Carolina to perform this task. Now, when Carolina opens her phone, you will see here the visit that we just set up. You will see here the planogram audit task. For her to perform the task, she go to view task. It's going to take a picture of the current planogram. We're not at a store right now. So we're just going to take a sample picture, use photo, save. Now she's going to compare the current shelving with the planogram. So let's go here and see any attachments that I have. I can see here the planogram. and. So let's see that she detects a discrepancy and she's going to tell me that um, dark chocolate is out of stock. There you go, save. And now check brands with seasonal display. 
she will just select, let's say, the Ferrero, Lint, and Nestle has seasonal displays, and save. Okay, she has completed her task at the customer we had assigned. Synchronizing. Back at the office, I, I can see that a check mark has appeared here both next to the customer name, so to the visit, and to the um, task that I had assigned. So here I, we can see that in this case, Carolina performed this task uh, to approximately 32 miles away from the customer that she was supposed to. Um, and uh, we can also view here in details GPS that it was not confirmed, but we can see the visit photos that Carolina took at the customer. This is it. This would be a typical workflow for visit bases um, with merchandising use. Uh, should you have any questions, just refer to www.visitbasis.com where you can also set up a free account and start using VisitBasis now. Thank you and have a great day.